Welcome people, another edition of Associate Cast is of course I'm Ryan Williams. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share, subscribe. And guys, check out the previous content of course. We've been making quite a few videos here on the channel recently, you know what I mean? Yesterday we talked about why did I bother in terms of why do I bother with this person, why do I bother with that? You know what I mean? You just get those those little moments in your life where you just cannot be bothered. Do you know what I mean? You just need to stand up for yourself and not let people take you for granted. Simple as that. Previous video, we talked about being unemployed and things you can do within the times. And, you know, not to try to stress yourself off. And in previous videos, you know, friendship. We talked about my love life. We talked about pre my, my weed problems that I've had in the past. We talked about many stuff. Do you know what I mean? Guys, check out, check out. There's content on the channel check it out let me know your feedback of course it's always important and let me know in the comment section that's what it's there for so today's edition of social outcasting is going to be about overthinking now for me this is pretty much a big scenario and a big topic for me because i'm one of these people that overthink and sometimes i don't know when to shut up and sometimes i just don't know you know the right answers like i like i said in previous episodes the right answers in front of you but sometimes you don't really notice when it's still there if it's a reoccurring thing then it must mean something so i'll give you a couple examples again of overthinking and just just you know the answer's right there so for example i remember when i was actually doing some driving lessons of course now this is this is just fucked up so i was doing some driving lessons and then i was like well at the time i only had about you know three months worth of driving and you know i had done my theory and all that so i was just rushing everything rushing everything and it was one of the things i've always had a problem with because i've always wanted something now and you know i see my friends all driving their cars and etc do you know what i mean and it's like like it's a fire in your stomach and you want that you want a piece of that you want something of your own you know what i mean maybe you can go around and start doing some paul walker and vin diesel start racing do you know what i mean be careful guys be careful but end of the end of the day at the end of the day sorry you want something for yourself. You want some type of accomplishment. So there's just been many times I was messing up on my tests and, you know, in my lessons, you know, we just go over it, like left hand turn, three point turns, parallel park, etc. And I'll give you a scenario on a test. In fact, let's do that instead. Now, I remember I was, how old was I? I think I was like 25 at the time. And I was on a test. Now, I could have passed this test. And literally, I was on a back road um, in Norbury. And literally, it was literally one road, stop, stop. Literally, go, stop, carry, look both ways, carry on. Same. And then I got to the third road. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I could literally just just give, it, give the car a little bit of gas. Just give it a little bit of gas. Do you know what I mean? And then... Like a toilet. I literally just before I break, yeah. Literally, I just went over the giveaway line just by a second, like a millisecond. And as I was putting my, my foot was on the brake already, but I didn't hit it hard, quick enough and hard enough. The woman already done that. And she was even saying like, you was going a little bit too quick there. Do you know what I mean? And you, look, you just went over the giveaway line a second. And of course I failed my test. So why in the blue hell did I do that? Because I was anxious and I was just overthinking. Do you know what I mean? I was just rushing. I thought, well, this is long. This has been, it's all these roads in the, in the all these back roads, sorry, are split into, into three sections. And done the first one wrong, done the second one. By the time I got into the third, I was kind of like, I feel like I'm going to pass today, so... You know, why just give it a little bit of gas? But I wasn't speeding down the back road. It was just, I guess I was speeding in a sense. But to me, I wasn't. But, you know, it was it was still within the limit of 20 miles per hour. And, yo, I just got failed. Some 
listen, if you're ever going to do your driving, be careful, okay? Be careful. Because some of these and some of these invigilators are out to screw you. I'll tell you that from now. But, you know, we're not going to. We're not going to diss anybody here. But at the end of the day, just take responsibility for yourself and your actions. It's as simple as that. There's no point rushing into things. Um, hell, I even bring you up to something about overthinking. I remember um, uh, I, was, I was talking to someone, was getting to know them, etc. And I remember we had a conversation about possibly moving forward. In terms of maybe seeing each other or maybe actually getting into a relationship and shit. And then, you know me, like I said to you in like episode one, like me, I'm very, I don't know, unorthodox. I like to be different rather than just be a plain, boring old man. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like to joke about a bit. Sometimes a bit too much, you know what I mean? Sometimes I take the jokes a bit too far, etc. Like... If it comes to disrespecting people, no, 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 I ain't got time for that. Unless you disrespect me. And, of course, we talked about that in the previous episode. But I remember, literally, I was just helping her on her way home because she had a huge amount of um, shopping to carry. And um, I remember she said to me, okay, well, you can just leave me here. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I was just thinking to myself, why? You're just going to struggle. Like, why am I going to do that? That's just not in me to let you do that but this girl is so independent it's literally she just wants to do everything by herself she like do you know what i mean and i'm quite a stubborn bastard like i won't leave you to, to struggle like that do you know what i mean i already listen i've been helping my mother for majority of my life and um, with my father not really being in my life like that to support us that's just something in me, do you know what I mean? Automatic. But I remember we got to the top of the road, and I remember we were talking, and what did I say? I, I just said something just out of the blue, immature, and then she kind of just had a go at me. She was just like, oh, why did you have to ruin things? You just, we had a nice day, and then you just go and say some childish, I really could not remember. If I do remember, I'll probably remember later on in the video but i just remember i said something a little bit, a bit outlandish in that obviously she's forgiven me now hopefully but since then like you know she's even said to me like you just need to just grow up a bit do you know what i mean and like i said it's just my character i always like to joke around but again just overthinking the situation like Everything's fine, just cool, just calm down, relax. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, I was just perfectly ruined a good day. And then she didn't want to talk to me for the last few days or whatnot. So I kind of felt a little bit like trash, you know what I mean? But it is what it is, you know what I mean? But again, you know, when you're in these type of moments where you're just overthinking things and just, you know, you want something. It's, it's listen, you just best to let things play out do you know what i mean i always believe in god's work and you know whatever happens happens for a reason it's as simple as that you know i'll give you another situation where i just overthought the situation and it literally was just it wasn't that at all oh god this is even this is this is probably even worse i remember um what was it i was in isolation once in school and uh what was it the class I think they were laughing about something and at the time, like I told you guys in the school days um, episode, go check that out. Um, you know, I had that whole bad joke about me burping in class and people tried to take the piss out of me and run, run, run a nickname by me and everything. Do you know what I mean? And I remember when I was in isolation, I heard the whole class laughing outside and I was thinking, what are they laughing about? And then, you know, you just peep through the windows, just like a little nosy mare as you are. And then, like, I just remember, like, just I just saw a few people looking at me, like, and they were just laughing. I was just thinking to myself, what's the chances of that? And I remember I must have opened the door, and I literally just kicked off. And the messed up thing about it was, they wasn't laughing at me. They was actually watching a video on YouTube of a little funny situation. And when I mean I was embarrassed as fuck, 
I was embarrassed as fuck. So again, there's me jumping to conclusions. There's me overthinking. And yeah, I'm telling you, these things can happen. Some people are all right. Some people don't think like that, but some people are. Now, me right now, a lot older, a lot more wiser, and somewhat more mature, have thought about things a lot carefully. Because sometimes, hey, I admit it, you know what I mean? When, definitely when I was on weed as well, I was on airplane mode all the fucking time. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just let everything just go and sell. I'll just react when I think it's time to react. Like, uh, 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 do you know what I mean? Like, that's just how I used to be because I just wasn't conscious. And I just used to be always in my head overthinking, thinking negative thoughts, thinking this person's talking about me negatively, etc., etc. But since I've quit smoking and since I started to you know, talk to people a lot more, understand, listen a lot more clearly and understand where people are coming from when they're trying to explain something to you. Then, you know, your picture from, you know, the dark clouds in your head, lightning, thunder, all that shit, all that negative stuff, you know, it starts to clear up a bit. You start to make sense a lot of the time. And a lot of self-reflection is a must. And I mean, a lot of people don't seem to do that. They try to carry on and think everything's fine. It's all about me. Oh, this person um, just thinks negatively of me because of this X, Y, and Z. And him, there's nothing I've done. Da, 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 da. And, and you know what? I carried on like that for a very long time. But again, you know, going back to the weed experience video, I had one situation. Remember that situation I told you about my friend in the lighter? That situation played up on me for a good couple of days and then I really started to think about a lot of things after that and even in my time of you know not smoking and not doing anything do you know what I mean like I've actually felt like I've grown inside as a man and as a human being because I've told myself not to overthink things I've told myself it's not always as it perceives and I've also told myself just don't hang on to things like I told you guys and why do I bother with video that was released yesterday don't hang on to things just let things go just you know sometimes we perceive things because of the way a person says it or the way a person's done something etc but not everything's always bad do you know what i mean you just need to relax take a chill pill and just breathe for fuck's sake it's as simple as that so, you know, my, my thing is to all those people out there that like to overthink, that like to just, you know, play up or just act different for no reason. Like, just be yourself. And that's something I, I'm working on and I have worked on. And you know what I mean? Like, hell, I feel a lot more better in myself than I did seven, eight, nine months ago. Do you know what I mean? I could honestly say to you guys, I was a complete wreck. I was a mess. A lot of other people might say differently, but personally, you only know yourself. You know where you are in your head. You know where you are outside your body. And hell, you're the only person that can really judge your life apart from the Lord. So realistically, if you're not religious, then listen, only you can judge yourself. It's as simple as that. But at the end of the day, guys, like I said, just be comfortable within your own skin. Try not to overthink things and just stay positive. You know what I mean? Even now, like with this coronavirus situation going on, it's crazy. You got people in the supermarkets, you got um just taking up toilet roll and I in fact I even was in the supermarket the other day. I even see people teething out, people shopping out of their trolleys while they're going and looking at talking to them talking to the butcher at the meat counter. I'm thinking, no, what what's going on? I didn't get involved. I thought, fuck that shit. Do you know what I mean? Because when they got caught, <laughs> it was something to laugh at. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it sounds immature. But to be honest with you guys, I mean, you know, I'm not going to get myself involved in that. What's the point? But at the end of the day, I mean, it's such a chaotic time for everybody right now that we all need to just, you know, not overthink, take our time and just stop trying to ruin things for everybody because... Again, if you're taking about five or six 
items off the shelf of the same thing? What about that person behind you? What about the other person that come in that's gonna come in later and they didn't have time because they had to put their, their son or their daughter into nursery and you ain't got really much to do today. So you decide to come raid up and think about yourself. I'm telling you right now, it's so selfish with what's going on. We need to actually be there for each other, support each other and actually realise like, listen, it's going to get peak. We know that. And hopefully things will get better within time. So don't be selfish and don't be raiding out the shelves in the supermarkets or stealing things and items from other people in the trolleys, etc. Do you know what I mean? And we're always overthinking before we go into the supermarket, etc. Because a lot of a lot of people out there are scared about this coronavirus. And yeah, listen, it is a worrying thing. Do you know what I mean? But again, if you take the right precautions, then you know positive positive things will come eventually and you will be able to look after yourself and hopefully you ain't got it it's as simple as that so guys i'm gonna wrap this up here thanks again for checking out this video remember guys don't overthink let things play out it's as simple as that and uh make sure you guys subscribe of course give us a thumbs up if you like this video any video topics you'd like me to address or talk about leave it in the comment section again and guys check out the previous content on the channel what are you doing? Check it out. You know, it's there for you. So, guys, I'll be back with more videos coming out soon. Take care.